Hello, everybody, and welcome to an exciting series that's about to begin. Uh, this is the Missouri Regional Game Cafe, and Tim, it was a stormer, was it not? It really was. It was a very exciting day. Lots of Netrunner was played, lots of tears were shed. Tim and I were participating in this event, so you'll get to see some of our games, which would be fun for all of us involved. But right now, we are watching Sasha Friedman playing Brody Benson. Two fantastic players, uh, happy to meet these guys, and really just excited to see how this goes, especially with that runner on the right there. Mm -hmm. that, that looks chaos an awful theory. lot like Chaos Theory to me, a uh, runner that uh, I always love to see. She's very lean, doesn't really bring anything spectacular to the table, but just Except consistency. Except for that extra MU. And MU. Come on. So, you don't even need to run MU to run your rig. I know. And Opus and three breakers. And Done. it's great. Uh, I, mean, I have no idea if that's what he's doing, but... I think we're going to see something weird out of uh, Brody here. I, I played against him once, or against someone who was running a similar deck, I believe. And uh, he was very proud of it, and I think it's a very interesting deck. Was so it Monolith? Let's keep an eye on it. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I can't say. I hope it's Monolith. I can't say, Tim. Uh, but yeah, Brody and Sasha heading face-to-face uh, -face here. It's the first round, and this is, remember, the kind of new single, or I'm sorry, double elimination uh, tournament rules. So we're only going to see one game between these guys, and then that will determine where they go uh, in the next round, whether the winner's or the loser's bracket. If you lose twice throughout this series, you're out of the you're tournament. Axed. You are axed. So let's kick it off here with Sasha's first play. What are we going to see? Looks like mulligan into two agendas there. Uh, in being specialty. Yeah. First is a sweep sweep. Seems not bad. Opens with the money card. Money a lot cards of are usually good. with the money card. I like to do it in the middle. Just to really action, money card, action, confuse, whatever it is. Yeah, confuse and annoy your. You want to disorientate the runner. That's that's what I always want to do. And we got two ice installs. Who would have thunk it? Here in Tulsa, we call that little ice ice baby. Boom! Checking the Draco. First run Draco. Is he looking to pay for that? Or did he already? I didn't see the money go. Ah, oh, there it is. And it is going to be power of zero. Zero strength. Looks like a trace four. Seems tagging in the run. Seems like the the optimal move for the NBA player there. Yeah, this is this is excellent. This is kind of why you run Draker out of making news. It's like Yeah, okay. So he goes ahead and lets the trace happen. Second click. Do you pay drop that the off tag. Even there? I don't know. I it's think never that I good. would. It's never the right thing. If you're choice. already there, you're gonna spend a click and two credits. You might as well spend the four credits instead of a click and two. In my opinion. It's absolutely true. Uh, Caduceus comes up. Man, two great pieces of ice here for uh, Sasha. I want to see this early. That's going to get him three credits right back. Show me, Sasha. Show me. That's two. Cre that's three credits back. Trace one. Trace three. Trace four. Looks like trace four for the credits, and then trace on in the run. I, th I think that I saw an NAPD contract in Sasha's hand there, so it'd be hilarious if he doesn't pump it so that Brody can get in and yeah. then just whiff on it. I don't think there's any reason. I know. And then so last is going to be Dirty Laundry. So a couple of traces went off there. Not exactly sure how those resolved, but they resolved well for Sasha. I'll say yeah. that. That's exactly what you want out of that early game, kind of NBN taxing ice strategy. Uh, making news runs both these pieces of ice very well. But on Birdie's end, he knows exactly what he needs to get through now. Century breakers for life. <laughs> Give me a mimic. <laughs> All right, Sasha's first action is a draw. Classic first click draw. Yes. The click that you want to draw if you're going to draw, in my opinion. I would say you always want it first rather than last been preaching that for a while still stand by it second action install remote and third action install an asset uh, or we're upgrade gonna see an inside in job here uh, Ooh, no no totally uh just ignoring it totally just ignoring it going proco is that it's a fall guy proco and all-nighter all-nighter so we already got some weird things going on here and now he has an astro <laughs> I, maybe it's kind of weird as the NBM player. You honestly, you no. usually think that first remote you're gonna 
they're gonna attack. So sometimes you don't even put it put it down there. Looks like Sasha's in that position right now. <laughs> yeah. My bluff didn't pay off. I mean, it's probably just stands in. Or an uh, NAVD. Or a anything Ash. It's gonna install over R and D. Proco in all day. Proco twice. Another pro coat. He's got a lot of cards in hand there. Those contacts are very, very professional. New Angeles? That is a New Angeles City Hall. He's going to avoid those tags. And he gets rid of the Cyber Cypher. Interesting. So it's kind of a slower start for Chaos Theory, but Sasha is definitely in the same Don't boat. three agendas in his hand? That could be why. Or is that, no, yeah, I think that's three agendas. That's a lot of agendas. Yeah, I would have liked to have seen a uh, Aster over there. We got a new remote coming up. Hmm. Install, install, advance. So we have a uh, testing of the waters here for Sasha. First action Proco on uh, Brody's side. Lucky find, gain in Second six. and third are going to be lucky find. I love that card, by the way. And then running that far remote. Wrap around. So he's gonna get to sneak <clears throat> one out here, I believe. He's gotta pay his two for a wrap around there. <laughs> See, if that's NAPD, this is awful for Sasha. He goes to zero for two points. It is NAPD. Yep. I very much dislike that, but sometimes it's he, the right thing to do. You gots to do what you gots to do. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. When life gives you four agendas in hand. First is a remote. Look at that Draco doing some work. I imagine he's going to pay this off and see a San San. Trace four. Or marked accounts. Marked accounts would be hilarious, too. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like he bounced. What? Interesting. Uh, interesting, indeed. Uh, so bounce shook the tag, and then he the installs the cipher on uh, R and D. Oh, passes the turn. I think you got to plow through that Draco there. I think so too. Like, there's just so many things there that he's so poor right now. It's worth four credits to see. We've got some wraparound doing work over there. It ends the run it, when it needs I'll to end the run. I'll tell you what it does is it ends the run. Find that barrier breaker. Were you running wrap around this day? Oh, yeah. Good. Looks like Sasha gaining some money. Here's my surprise face. And then Brody, Proco twice. Third, another Proco. And nice. last is Knight. It was a dark night. So uh, wrap around is no longer as safe as it might have been. True. But if you're using a night on a wrap around, I'm still happy with yeah, that. Yeah, I think I'm still happy with that as well. All right, mandatory draw on Sasha's end. Jackson could help him uh, get I out of this. He's just going to get some more money here. Depends on how many agendas are sitting there. We haven't seen much coming through from HQ. Install, install, gain a credit. Playing the NBN shell game. All right, shell game it up. Classic NBN. Interesting. Two is run and break. Pad campaign? Pad campaign, nice. absolutely. Nice not res, Shastra. I love it. What we got over marked there? Marked accounts, I think? I think that was marked. You got to think... Paying to you to install night and a click, and then spending a click to move it to Draco, and then spending two to break Draco, is way more intensive than just paying four to get through it. Yeah. So something to think about. And then now Sasha can just overwrite the Draco. Yes, which a zero strength Draco is not something you're terribly worried about overriding. So we get a corroder. 
wraparound's even more useless. It's the most useless, even. And that wraparound is is still... It was strong that last turn, actually. Corrida coming out on the last click, so it wasn't checked. It's interesting. Inter interesting calls there. I think I see two agendas in his hand still. I'm su also surprised he didn't raise the bad campaign here. Now that Brody knows it's there. Now that he knows it's there. Because he loves face down remotes. If there's one thing Sasha loves, uh, install looks like he's going to gain a couple credits. Maybe we'll see a uh, diversified portfolio here in a minute. That's what we're building for, right? So his last click's unmarked. It's times like this when I wish I was wizard. That's right. All right, first click over on Brody's side. We have ourselves Proko. Second's going to be Proko as well. Third and fourth, two daily casts. Two daily casts. Not checking that remote. Nope. Neither of them. It would, uh, it would be great if Sasha snuck one out with that remote. Maybe that's the whole point of this shell game. Wear the runner down psychologically. <laughs> Wasted Playing clicks everywhere. Your weaknesses. And those daily casts are really going to make a nice influx of econ here. Sasha, pad campaign in. And then he's going to gain one from Marked. And pad, I hope. And then he's going to res another pad campaign, I think. Looks like it. That remote behind the wraparound is just scary to me. I, it's, it's sitting there. If you don't check it long enough, you're never going to check it. I, I imagine it's a sand sand. I'm just saying. Yep. I've been wrong before, but... Sasha, considering his options here, he's got a, a decent board, but I, I feel like he's not moving fast enough here. So gain a credit, hedge fund. I just think by the time that Brody gets his rig out in the next couple of turns, this MBN ice isn't going to hold up. Start seeing some indexing, maybe some RD interface. Yeah, for sure. Oh, snap. Install behind the wraparound, okay. The... He can just get in there. He just did. Snare. <laughs> Accessing the first one first. It's Jackson. Which I guess is being used. You have to use him before access, yeah? Technically, yes. Technically, yes. Just so that everyone knows. And San Sans trashed. Both uh, Brody and Sasha discussing the paid abilities windows there. Mm -hmm. And Sasha's a pretty new player. Yeah. To Two, a Netrunner. Three months, right? Is that what we said? Yeah, three months. And there's a lot of the finer rule intricacies that can be a bit confusing. The still, structure of a run. <laughs> I'm still not perfect. <laughs> None of us are. None of us are. And now the drip economy is cranking. Got three credits a turn for Sasha without doing anything. And it looks like Brody's just kind of going to let that happen. Do you imagine we'll see that uh, knight overwritten sooner than later? Um, I don't think it's on Sasha's brain right now. Because I would want to get rid of that ASAP. I think it would be a high priority for me as well. I am more concerned right now about these three drip economy cards mm -hmm. essentially giving Sasha the mid to late game. Chaos Theory is not, you know, living in the dough right now either. <laughs> no, not living in the dough at all, as they say. All right, first action for Sasha was draw. But Chaos Theory also doesn't strike me exactly as a late game powerhouse. Yeah. <laughs> 
So I think we need to see some action out of her. She does have right two now. all-nighters over there, though. Drink, it's, drinking all the diesel. It's just, it's a shame that, uh, you know, this one Draco basically has kept R&D safe for so long. Uh, same with Caduceus, has kept our, our HQ safe for the entire game so far. That's three credits for complete security so far. I imagine that Brody is also very sad about that fact. And he is uh, probably digging for his Century Breaker throughout all of that. He has been hitting a lot of Proko right now. But uh, we do have an item on the board, so he could make some runs if he wanted. We know it would just be a rotor turret, though. It would. <laughs> More ice. First action is Proko. Second is Proko. Where's that quality time when you need it? Boom! Third is Night Draco. Four is R&D. Roto oh, oh, pop up. pop up. Pays two. Sees one. Sees fast, fast track, track yeah. yeah. And it's one of those hard situations where if you don't have multi-access going on, especially out of Shaper, those R&D runs, you can't really afford to do all that just for one card. I mean, three credits isn't bad. Three credits isn't awful. You gotta do what you gotta do. You though. gotta do what you gotta do. I would hope that by now we would have seen maybe some interface, some maker's eye, some indexing, some kind of pressure being put indexing on here. Indexing would be awesome here. Indexing looks so good here. Surely a three of. Indexing maker's eye all day long. <laughs> and look at that money. Is there anything more disheartening than getting indexed? No. It's the worst feeling. Like it's, you're just nervous the entire it's, time. It's literally like just being led to the slaughter. First click, I'm gonna draw. Second is install behind an easily breakable wraparound, and third is advance. That's just a, it's so confusing that it's a great play. Like it just screams trap, right? It screams trap, but you have to check. First is an APD. Trying to drain some economy? All right. Or just get him out of his hand. Well, that was the easiest two points that I've seen in a while. <laughs> yeah. He, surely he's going to check R&D again here? For three? I don't know. I don't know. Like he's already there. We need it to be worth more here. Seconds pro coat. Three is R&D. It's going to cost him three. Give Sasha another, another credit here. See some ice. Is that a Draco? It was, yeah, I think it was another Draco. Draco's so good in making news. And it's a self-modifying code. That's what you want. Now we have a Sentry Breaker at all times. We have whatever we want. We have whatever we want. Snake door, go. Sasha draws the ice that has been seen already. And now Sasha really considering the options here. He's, I, I feel like he's falling behind in tempo. First he installs up above the wraparound. I would almost consider just getting rid of the wraparound. I would very much consider getting rid of the wraparound. Uh, so he installs, advances, or sorry, installs a card and advances it. And Chaos Theory is having a pretty decent mid game here. Of course, he has to check the remote. He's got an SMC. I didn't get through anything here. Again, it kind of says trap, but you don't not check it. All-nighter. Gets that one click back. All-nighter is a card that is underplayed, I think. It is. Gets another click back. Explosive turns. Test. <laughs> Interesting. Test running, installing the FIM over. Uh, 
running the remote. Won't res, breaks. It's NAPD. And then scavenge fem to there. Okay. All right, so Fim now making an appearance. It's a shame to lose that uh, self-modifying code. I would agree with that. I almost wondered if it was just worth self-modifying. Uh, I don't know. Well, I think you look at it at least. Put it, you know. Just run. Make him res it. Make him res it, then maybe you uh, test run the Fim out. But I think I'm, the scariest thing there, I think, is like a toll booth. Yeah. But I think uh, pretty much, unless we have a surprise Janus or something, SMC can probably handle most things there. Problem is having the four left over to uh, to steal that NAPD. Install, install, gain a credit. I'm sorry, marked. So now we're kind of confronted with the same situation, except now potentially upgrade protected. Could be an ash, could be a red herrings. First is Dirty Laundry Archives. Closed accounts and fast track. Now, you just run the remote, right? Like, you just do it? Oh, keyhole. Second is keyhole. Okay. Third is keyhole. I think that's fair. I think that's a fair... Uh, change of position here let him have the remote although I'm pretty sure that's going to be the astro play there and get sort of Ash so we do know that Ash is in play and Proko's for the final yeah I think we're going to see an astro here I, I think that I like this I like Birdie's play here it, it really forces Sasha to decide am I going to score an astro and eat a couple more keyholes or am I going to try to protect R&D here and stall over the Draco? The, the keyhole, like, if you look at it, it's costing Brody two to do it every time, and he's only at two money. Yeah. So you can do it twice. Like, I think that's probably worth the risk to get an Astro out. Yeah, yeah, probably. I would agree with that. Maybe not. I mean, like, you could just straight up lose there, but... You could. I also don't know that Sasha has an option. Uh, I don't know if there's any ice in that hand right now. Or there might even be an Astro over there. There might be yeah. any agenda over there. Could have, could have been hoping that Brody's going to go all out to try to get in there and see nothing. First click for Breaking Sasha news, is there? to draw. Yeah. <laughs> Second, ice over archives. So that's the keyhole uh, prevention method here. Although I can't imagine anything that's really going to keep keep anything out. Fim now breaking Draco. And some money. I think Sasha probably has plenty of money here. He needs to be using it. He has to have a reason to use it. He does. Surely we're going to see a keyhole. Just attacking that R&D so hard. A lot of consideration going on here. I think Sasha saw his last click. <clears throat> that makes sense. Or maybe he hasn't done one at all. Maybe that was all just... Uh, no, he installed the archives. Yeah, he installed ice there. And in advance. Oh, shoot. The bar is raised. Force the ice res at least... SMC looks a lot better here for me. Yeah. How much keyhole did you see that day? There was not much keyhole. I didn't see I any. I didn't see much, I didn't play much at all. Single one. Huh. So I'm happy to see it here, especially out of chaos theory. I think this makes a lot of sense. Um, some form of the, the three keyhole deck with that extra MU just makes it possible. Basically keyhole over Opus and running non non-program econ. I think that's pretty strong. Especially with ciphers like that. All right, so he uh, 
Boom. Snags and Astro. Just a straight up run, Just huh? Straight up run. That's amazing. Didn't keyhole, huh? Didn't keyhole. I mean, there's no reason to not keyhole, is there? I mean, I guess there's the ice over there, but you've got a knight on the board. <laughs> that was so good. Awesome. <laughs> it was crazy. What is happening? All right, so and then Astro comes out to party. So Brody at six. Sasha is uh, looking at four with a counter. This is a tight game. It's gotten weirdly tight here. I can't believe he just ran. That's <laughs> awesome. He smelled it. I would love to know what ice is over that remote right now on top of that wraparound. I bet it is nothing. Maybe a Caduceus or something silly. I think it's a Draco. Sasha installs again. All right, there you go. First is move the knight. Second. Infiltrate for two. Hmm. Third is run the remote. It's a quandary. <laughs> quandary for days. <laughs> oh, Brody had that remote all day if he wanted it. <laughs> yeah, get in, Ash. Oh, that's a bummer. Yeah, but he can get right in. Who can? I mean, he's got to trash it. I feel like that could have been done a while back. And it's, what, a couple credits short of getting back in there? Yep. That's problematic. Stim hack there would be awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the old one cost quandary is the source of <laughs> all of that. So effort. much pain. And advance, advance on uh, breaking news and trashing Proko. Hmm. I mean, you got the money. I guess you may as well. I think at this point, Proko is kind of just dead fishing a little bit over there. <laughs> dead fishing. I imagine Birdie has pretty much any card he needs. Except for a Kogate Breaker. So now we're five in, uh, five in a token against six. This is a dead even game here. Sasha draws into an agenda. It is over. Just checking R&D, not keyholing. No. Nope. Toll booth. And taking two credits. Like, Keyhole there is so strong. I, I think, think Keyhole's really strong there. You still have an out on the board. You can still get to archives when you need to. Maybe he doesn't want to shuffle the deck. Maybe so, yeah. And and that's reasonable, having the relative R&D lock here, assuming Sasha doesn't draw any cards. Like the toll booth you just saw? Might be useful. Well, the mandatory, of course. Yeah. And now, unfortunately, uh, Brody really is not going to be able to get back in R&D, so it's a matter of Sasha drawing that agenda and scoring it. Uh, and his vectors are more or less cut off at this point once R&D goes down. It would be awesome if Brody had another scavenger. I'll bet that he does. Uh, I have to believe that this is something that Brody is doing with this deck. Probably three fims, three scavenge. Seems to make a lot of sense. Retrieval run, maybe? Maybe a retrieval run. Click two, he draws. Sees a sand sand. You have to install that over there. And install. Because you have to check that. I don't think you can here. You know that if he had drawn the agenda, he would have just scored it. Well, he drew for his first action. No, his second action. First action was install Tollbooth. Then he drew. And then he installed sand sand. So... Right, so if the second click, or whenever he drew for an action, if that was an agenda. Yeah, that could be over there, but I don't know why he wouldn't just hold it in hand and score it out of hand next turn. I don't feel like there's any reason to check that remote unless Sasha's just being supremely ballsy here. Which, what's the deal here? <laughs> it's like, you can get into this for three, or you can not get into HQ. Your choice, depending on that ice, but it still seems safer right now. But maybe that's what Sasha wants us to think. I know you can get here for three. First is draw. And three credits. That is a huge uh, seating of tempo there. I don't know. All Sasha's got to do is draw in here. 
Still no agenda showing up. Brody getting down to the, the very end of the deck here. <laughs> you just need to go get Breaker. Why do you trash that Cyber Cypher? Yeah, I do. It happens. First click is draw. And he ends, uh, rest of the Sand Sin, install Beal. Advance, token. Advance and token. And that'll and be the it. Game. Well done, Sasha and Brody, the first showdown in the first round. A pretty wild game, actually, between NBA and Chaos Theory. There's some uh, some interesting things going on in these in this game. That drip economy, I think, was a huge boon to Sasha. Once he didn't have to worry about money anymore, the mm -hmm. world was essentially his. And I would have liked to see more keyhole, honestly, out of Brody, but I thought he probably would have liked to see that as well. So join us, guys, for uh, another game of Netrunner coming down the pipe. We've got more coming from Game Cafe in Missouri, Independence, Missouri, historic downtown, and uh, we'll catch you later. Thanks See you for guys. watching. Thanks, man.